Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is kind of going to be a little vlog style um, prepping for keto Thanksgiving. So I told you guys that I was going to be doing Thanksgiving and you saw my grocery haul um, from this week. So I did say if I had uh, gotten another kid's deposit or any other type of money, I was going to be adding into my groceries for the week. So I did get a kid's deposit and I pulled out $50 to add to my groceries. But I got to thinking that Thanksgiving is coming. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to go ahead and start prepping and planning for Thanksgiving. So I spent a little bit of money getting just some extra things the kids and I needed. But the majority of the things I'm going to be um, pulling in for Thanksgiving. Now, keep, some keto items are expensive. So every week that I get a deposit, I'm just going to try to buy a few more things. So we already have the turkey. We have two turkeys in our freezer. So I do not have to buy a turkey. Um, I do want to share with you a couple of the recipes that I think I'm going to be pulling. And um, share with you what I picked up at the grocery store. Alrighty, you guys, so I finally have had a chance to sit down and you can't see the table. I'm, I'm in the kitchen. So at, on the table, I have my Life and Apples planner. I have my Southern Keto cookbook. I have my, um, this was my Carrie L meal planner from last year. And I opened it to the gatherings page where I did my uh, th Keto Thanksgiving for 2018. So I'm going to be doing Keto Thanksgiving for 2019, but I wanted to go back and look at all the notes that I made from last year because this is, you know, I just wanted to keep it because last year I did, I did two Thanksgivings at one time. We had for the very first time, um, my mother, Beauty, hosted Thanksgiving at her house in all the years that I've been alive. She has never done that. So my daughter, Shamika and I, and of course the little kids and everything went early to help her get everything squared away and we dropped off the little kids at their relatives because my ex-husband's family lives close to where my mom lived at the time so we dropped them off because they usually have thanksgiving with with um them and then we came back and did all the things for my mom but knowing that i was on the keto journey i was not going to you know how some people say well i'll just um fudge it or i'll just eat what i want and then i'll get back on it i've not had that issue with keto and if you hear any noise alana's working on dishes in the background so that's what that noise is if you hear any any dishes alana's working over there um i just haven't had that issue with keto i've not wanted to I've not wanted to halt the process, and I think that I'm finally back into a weight loss pro um, pattern, which is helpful for me. My digestion was not right for a couple weeks, close to a month maybe, but now um, everything is moving right along, so that's good. But with the holidays coming, I don't want to halt any progress that I've made, so I went back to pull my notes from last year so in the life and apples planner because this is the planner that i'm using now i, I didn't go back to get a carry l because again that was gifted to me but in the life and apples planner in the back section they have they don't have the um section like the carry l that has um what do you call it the gathering section but they do have some notes pages back here. So I'm thinking that I'm just gonna go back here and make some notes because they've got notes pages in the back. So I'm just gonna make some notes on here that say uh, Thanksgiving 2019. And then I'll put notes in here to take to the grocery store because over the next three weeks, I'll, next two weeks, I'm gonna be getting all the things that I need for groceries for my Thanksgiving. But um, I also was on Pinterest and I found a page called Big Bear's Wife. And she had um, the ultimate Thanksgiving planner. And I just printed this out. Um, Big Bear's Wife is the name. I'm not going to link it or promise to link it because then I'll forget and then I'll feel bad. So um, that's the name of it. It's called Big Bear's Wife. 
and um, it gives you three weeks before, two weeks before, a week before. So three weeks before it says to finalize your guest list. I'm not having people in the house that I know of. We usually go out for Thanksgiving to our pastor's house. So I'm thinking that's still the plan. I'm not real sure. Um, I know I'm not traveling. Even if we don't go to their house, I'm still going to make, I usually just make enough things for here. Shamika's not coming home. She's going to come for Christmas. And then Trent and may or may not come home. He usually comes home to eat and then he usually goes back to where he lives. So we'll see. But even if I am going to eat at my pastor's house, they are not keto. So I have to make a keto meal just like I did last year. We did Thanksgiving traditional for my mom. And then I brought in my Thanksgiving sides. I did um, stuffing, keto stuffing. I did keto mac and cheese using the cauliflower. I did keto muffins or like a dessert. I did mashed cauliflower. I did a couple things for me that I could eat. We did the sugar-free applesauce. So we did a lot of things that um, helped me be successful. And honestly, it was a great hit at the place where we, at my mom's, everybody really liked everything. The only thing that kind of wasn't the best hit with people was the cauliflower mac and cheese. You know, they just want their mac and cheese. So I ate it just fine. It didn't bother me at all. But anyway, um, this is from Big Bear's Wife. Let's see if I can show you that. Big Bear's Wife. And I got this off of Pinterest. And it's called My Thanksgiving Planner. And then what she does in here is she gives you a couple of her recipes. Like she's got bacon cheese dip. She's got crock pot meatballs. And then she has bacon wrapped shrimp as appetizers. So I'm thinking to use the bacon cheese dip and the bacon wrapped shrimp as appetizers. And I'm thinking that might be lovely. We're gonna see how it works out. But then she gives you um, some blank planning pages. So you do get some blank planning pages. And I'll tell you why I look for this planner. Because Samantha at, at um, Happily a Housewife actually went over some holiday planners and I loved what she showed. But, you know, when your finances are tighter, um, I just got what was free for me to download and print. So this works out great. So she gives you one, two, three, type, three appetizer sheets that you can use. Then she gives you side dishes and she has pineapple, orange, cranberry sauce, green bean casserole. And so I think I'm going to use her green bean casserole, but make it keto style. And I think I saw a keto version of this over on Keto Connect, or maybe it was Dat Keto Lady. I think it was Dat Keto Lady that had green bean casserole. So what I'm going to do is make myself a note on this sheet using my pen that says, um, in order to keto this, check that keto lady's channel because she did have a recipe for that. So I'm going to look that up and then prayerfully that's going to be good. And then I had one, two, she gives you three pages. So here you can put your ingredients. If you got a recipe from somewhere else, where did you get it from? and then their directions for the recipe. So again, I'm making just a keto binder. I have a binder that I put together all of my things. Then she has her favorite desserts and she has um, bourbon pump pecan pie. But I saw on that keto lady, she did pecan pie muffins. So I'm gonna do those as well. And again, she gives you three sheets for dessert. And then she gives you a Thanksgiving day shopping list. She gives you a guest list. And then this is really pretty and something that, and I think I'm probably just going to, I'll put this in a frame. She gives you a Thanksgiving menu. So I'm gonna put this in a frame and then I'll write my menu in and she gives you two of those, two of those. So I think I'm gonna have one in the entrance way as people begin to come in. You know, if it's just my family or whomever. Sometimes we have a person or two, Trent will bring home friends that can't get to their relatives and they'll come over and eat with us. And then she gives you 
a schedule for prep. I don't prep anything ahead of time. I've seen a lot of videos where people are doing prep aheads and they're freezing stuff and then they're going to thaw it out the day of. I cannot cook like that. I enjoy the art of cooking and what happens on the day of. So I normally get up about four or five in the morning and I just start my, you know, whatever needs to happen. We do have two turkeys um, in our freezer. So I'm going to take one of the turkeys out a couple days ahead, but I will um, fill out this prep list. And again, if I go to my pastor's house for Thanksgiving, then I'll also just make myself some notes and then here are any notes that I need to write in. And then here, what I would do is definitely write in the YouTube channels where I've seen the recipes that I'm planning to use because it's just easier to find everything in one place. Like, okay, go to this video, this video, this video. And then if I were going to have people in the house, here are some um, seating placements where I would put names of the people here. So that was one. And then she had another label that you could print out. And then if you make leftover plates, you could stick this on the bag or the, you know, the plate for the people taking leftovers. So I thought that was a pretty extensive list. A lot of people, you know, had lists out there, but this seemed to be a comprehensive list for me and it worked out real good. So I'm gonna work on this as the weeks go along. I'll probably start on it tonight. Just as an added side, I did find a holiday planner. This is for Christmas, but I cannot remember whose this was. This actually led me to a Google Drive, a Google Drive that had all of these printables on it. So I can't remember, I can't remember the, the place that I found it. But this was an easy, this was an easy holiday guide. So I'm gonna use, this was an easy holiday guide that I just downloaded for Christmas. So we're in that season and making preparations. So let me share with you the things that I think that I'm going to make. So from last year's list, um, I had pumpkin fluff. I don't think that I'm doing pumpkin fluff this year. I actually think that I am going to try to do, I saw this on Keto Connect. It was like a sweet potato casserole, but they use pumpkin and cauliflower. I'm going to try that. So I'm writing that down. Then um, I have cheesecake up here, low carb pumpkin cheesecake. I'm not a real pumpkin person. Hmm, so hmm, I don't know. I do know I'm gonna do the keto uh, cranberry sauce again. We like that. Um, also going to do devil eggs. That's good to travel if I need to take it. Then I'm going to do the pecan pie brownies. No, the pecan pie muffins, I'm sorry. Muffins. A uh, green bean casserole. And then I'm going to do, mm, I'm gonna do out of the Southern Keto Cookbook, I'm going to do her cornbread dressing. She has a cornbread dressing in here. Let me see if I can find it. It's just making the Southern uh, Keto cornbread recipe. And then you add in all the other things that uh, make it dressing. And so I'm going to bake it. Normally, I don't bake dressing. I just do stuffing. But the kids, we're going to give it a try this year and see if we like it. Now, I know I saw it in here uh, somewhere. And if I didn't see if I didn't see it in this book, um, there is definitely a couple recipes that Keto Lady had it on her channel. So I'm going to do um, skillet cornbread stuffing. Keto skillet cornbread. Dressing. Um, and then of course I'm gonna do the turkey because we have a turkey. And then um, I'm trying to do some keto turkey gravy. I'll do some gravy for that. Um, let me see, is there anything else? Like last year when I had to go to my mom's, I actually packed all of my utensils. I took my crock pot, the electric roaster, mixing bowls, serving spoons, I had to take all of that stuff with me because I didn't want to leave it to her to have. I know she didn't have a lot of the things that I used. 
So I took all of that stuff this year. I'm so glad I won't have to take anything because we're not traveling. Um, so that's going to be helpful. As I go down, as I begin to go down and do some of my shopping, I will put all of my Thanksgiving things in the shopping halls that I do. I won't do separate shopping halls, but I will specify this is for Thanksgiving or this is for our weekly groceries. So I think that's what I'm planning. Let me go back over this again. Sweet potato casserole, cranberry sauce, deviled eggs, pecan pie muffins, green bean casserole, skillet cornbread dressing, turkey, and gravy. And I hope I didn't miss anything. I don't want to do too, too much because even though we do like leftovers, um, after about a week's worth of Thanksgiving leftovers, we're pretty much at the end. But I can freeze anything that we don't use. So once we get done with the turkey, we're going to break down the turkey and we'll freeze any of the turkey meat that is left that we don't plan to eat within a couple of days. I always do a turkey salad. That's like a chicken salad. And we did make the um, peace, love, and low carb. We made her low carb cranberries, uh, craisins. And I think I'll use those in the turkey chicken salad. It worked out real good. Less sugar, a little bit less sugar, but they still worked out nicely. Um, but other than that, I think that's how we're looking at it to get started. I'm trying to make sure, I'm not gonna do the mac and cheese this time. It wasn't, I don't wanna deal with it being that it wasn't my fave. So I can do without the mac and cheese, it will be totally okay. Um, unless I can find a better recipe. The Keto Connect recipe was good, but you still knew it was cauliflower and not mac and cheese. So I can be okay without that one. But everything else, I think we're going to do what I have on my list, and it's going to be great. So I will be making a grocery list, but I'll share those grocery lists with you as I make my other grocery list. So I'm just making this say uh, Keto Thanksgiving. 2019. I'm just writing this on my in my planner and I just made myself a couple notes in there and I'll transfer these notes over to my planning guide as soon as I am ready to be in that thinking mode. So anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. I will be over the next two grocery hauls sharing with you what I'm going to be picking up for Keto Thanksgiving 2019. And then as we're doing things, um, you won't see any of the recipes ahead of time, but you will see them come after because I cook on Thanksgiving. A lot of people I've seen them making stuff ahead, like I said, and that's just not in my budget to make to make the meal twice. So I'm going to just get things along and then I will you know, show you the recipes. We'll probably do a couple Thanksgiving vlogs or something and I'll show you as I'm going over and cooking those recipes. And I may do them separate so that you can have them for Christmas, to see them for Christmas. But um, right now, I don't plan to do any cooking ahead. I will cook on Thanksgiving Day. So anywho, I hope that was, I hope that was helpful to you. I know it's helpful to me um, to just sit down and plan and kind of come up with, with a game plan that works for our household. And again, like I said, I'm not one of those to say I'm going to eat regularly and then I'll go back to keto after. I've just gotten on a journey and this has been the journey. So I'm going to keep going because it's working for my body type. I am the smallest I have been in over 25 years and I am th closer to 29 years and I'm thankful for that. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on. It's working out for me. The kids are doing well. We don't have any issues with them uh, being on their journey. So there it is. Keto Thanksgiving 2019 is about to go down. You guys stay tuned for all of the things that we're going to do. Uh, we hope that you enjoy the videos as they begin to come out. I think we've decided we're doing the 12 days of Vlogmas, the 12 days prior to Christmas Day. You'll start seeing uh, vlogs roll out and we will do those vlog style. So we will be doing some pre-filming so that we can have everything ready for you guys when it is time for those things to come out. So anywho, thank you all so much for your continued support of our channel. We are growing slowly at times, but we are still growing. And I'd rather have the people who want to be here than just a zillion people who never show up. So I am so thankful for any comments, any love you guys show us, all the thumbs up, even the thumbs down. They're not my fave, but I get it. Um, some of the thumbs down, you know, all of the comments just bless our spirit. We try to answer as many of those as we can. Sometimes we're not able to get to all of them, but we do read them all. So um, I'm going to do better to get to 
to a place where I'm able to read them all and respond to them all as well. But anyway, if you like this video, be sure and thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell so you never miss an upload from us. Thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye now.